What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. Today, on this video, we're heading over to Brooklyn Dumpling Shop. It just opened up, I think, on the time of the shooting. This is the third day of opening. They are based off New York. I believe there are two stores there. One in Staten Island. I don't know where the other one is. It's somewhere in the city. So this is their third location. And what makes it different from your typical dumplings, it's rather than the pork or beef that you're used to, they add these flavors, these funky flavors, I wouldn't call it funky, but you know, for dumpling it's different. Uh, for example, they use bacon cheeseburger, they, they use mac and cheese, buffalo chicken, chicken parmesan, so you can kind of tell where this is going, right? <laughs> We're going to try them all and see what type of uh, dumplings we could get from them. They're also known for the automat concept. Now for those of you in the 50s, 60s, it's pre it was pretty popular. Basically, it's like lockers or closets, like locker space, right? You order your food and someone from the back, the kitchen, most likely they will place the food into the locker. You get your receipt, you open up the locker and you get your food. It's contactless delivery pretty much. I don't think it's as popular as it is now. Well, now with the pandemic and COVID still around, I think this would be a pretty popular way of serving food we'll see how it goes but they've been doing it for quite a while and yeah it's really unique for us because it's the first time I've seen seen it being served like that <laughs> so yeah we'll go check it out see what we order keep watching welcome to the Vulcan. Is that it? Yeah. Do not touch. Go close this automatically. 
mine might be this. Wait, yep. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Give me the bag. Get it back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got noodles? Is that noodles? Uh, it's the bowl, like the bowl. Yeah, it has noodles. I got, I got the one with the noodles. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Got the chicken parmesan dumpling. And the bacon cheeseburger dumpling. Pork and chives. They're small. How many pieces are there? Five. It's not bad. Chicken with a peanut sauce. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, on the over noodles. And then again, buffalo ring. Buffalo chicken. And then pork and cabbage. It's like that. It's buffalo chicken wing. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken dumplings. Tastes like buffalo chicken. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But then, you know, the chicken is like they mash mince. That's the one. Mashed up. Is it spicy? A little spicy. Wait, what? <laughs> the movie piece. <laughs> the, the sauce in it is pretty good. Yeah. What uh, flavor is that? This is the um, in peanut sauce, but this is just crispy chicken. Crispy chicken? Mm -hmm. Basically fried chicken. Oh, thank you. Very good. Uh, I didn't want rice, that's why. No rice here. We're trying to cut down carbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the noodles, if any. Mmm. Mm. This is the chicken part. Mm. Mmm. It's minced chicken. Very good. Flavorful. Tastes just like a real chicken parmesan. Mm. Yeah, you really don't need any um, sauce on this, right? No. Very um, tasty. So I bought this home, the chicken and shrimp soup. And apple caramel dessert. They ran out of the chocolate that I was looking for. But it's okay, let's try it. It's not hot. It's sticky. Yeah, it's sticky. Oh, it looks That's good. I, I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Just buy now. It's pretty good. Apple and caramel. Several days later. Alright, this is like the third day or something. Went back to get more. Dumplings, lunchtime. I'm crazy for them. I think I'm gonna try some new flavors. <laughs> so keep watching. All right, guys. I'm back from Brooklyn Dumpling Shop. Let's see what we got for today's uh, menu. Of course, I had to get my dark chocolate. They didn't have it last time, and uh, they ran out of apple today. It's weird, but they do have the dark chocolate, so I'm happy about that. And. Um, Oh, this is the barbecue ribs, Korean barbecue ribs. So this looks interesting. You know how we love Korean barbecue in this channel. So in dumpling form, let's try that too. And one more, of course I had to get the pepperoni pizza. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try the pepperoni pizza first. They come in packs of four and they're very tiny. Wow, this is so hard. Okay, here we go. So here it is. Four pieces inside. Very small. Not, not your usual dumpling size. Okay. Mmm, looks good guys. There it is. This is the pepperoni pizza. Taking a bite out of it. Mmm. 
Mm. It's definitely like um there you can see a, a little bit of cheese I guess from the pizza. Right? Um mm. I think this one's okay. Um, you know what these remind me of? Like Hot Pockets or those really small microwavable snacks. <laughs> but this is uh, their pepperoni pizza. It's like, um, I, I don't know how to describe it. Right? But you can definitely taste the pizza taste to it. Not much of the pepperoni. Usually pepperoni has that striking flavor. But um, yeah. Mm. not bad but I would probably order the other flavors before this one all right let's try the Korean barbecue style I think this is beef I'm not sure uh, leave a description here but here it is it looks just like the other dumplings that you've seen before just have a different filling let's take a first bite Mm. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, this one this could definitely taste it. Um, it's like beef fresh off the grill, right? When you're at a Korean barbecue, minus the smell and the sizzle. It's just in compact uh, dumpling form. Mmm. Mmm. This is actually pretty good. Like it's been marinated already. And um, yeah, <laughs> this is addicting. This is really good. I think this is one of the better ones too. This is the Korean barbecue one. Let's get another bite for the small one. One bite this time. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is really good. I like it. It's between this and the bacon cheeseburger. I gotta try the spicy chicken that Hannah had, but yeah, thumbs up for me for this flavor. Okay, last but certainly not least, dark chocolate. <laughs> Let's open this up. Ooh, look at that nice swirl in there i think that's vanilla it's like marshmallow to me i'm sure there's chocolate in there it's probably as good as the apple the apple one was sold out today so that should tell you something that's really good but um yeah here it is mm. this one is super sweet <laughs> And I can't touch this, but add a little bit of that ice cream, vanilla ice cream, I guess. Oh, it's marshmallow, melted marshmallow. Mmm. Mmm. This is a perfect way to end your dumpling experience. <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed that video. That is Brooklyn Dumpling Shop. Here in Hoboken just opened up. Prices are pretty reasonable, about eight dollars for those dumplings. It comes in four, and so it runs out to about two dollars a dumpling. It will fill you up, even though they're small. Try the flavors. Try the bacon cheeseburger. Try the Korean barbecue. Try the spicy chicken. That's what the guy, the one of the people at the restaurant <coughs> suggested. It's their best sellers: the bacon cheeseburger and the spicy chicken. Is that what it, or the chicken parm I forget one of those but anyway yeah those were the best flavors people chose I'll leave the address down below visit them order dumplings try out the other menu items I might go back for the other food food things that they offer my sister-in-law had the pork and chives with the soup 
she like did uh, is it pork and pork pork and chives whatever I forget what it was but she had one of the soup dumplings and she loved it if you're new here make sure you hit the bell button down below hit the subscribe button subscribe button like comment and share and we'll see you on the next video bye guys